Pisces, welcome to your general reading for 15 till 31 June with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader, messages from your angels, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well. I apologize that I haven't uploaded readings in a while. I needed to just tick some personal boxes first. As you know, I'm always going to only do a reading for you if I'm at my absolute best. So welcome, Pisces. Dealing with a Pisces, wherever you've got Pisces in your chart, let's see what the creative forces of life have got for you. So the first card you've got there is, could it be a dragonfly? And to me, dragonflies are always very magical, mythical um, creatures that speaks of new beginnings and new possibilities. And it encourages you to spread your wings and prepare to fly, you know. Allow yourselves to set your sights higher. Allow yourself to expect beautiful things to come your way, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. And if it resonates with you, go ahead and place your hand on your heart. Take a deep breath and say, yes, I open myself to beautiful, beautiful things happening in life. I open myself to beautiful synchronicities, beautiful possibilities, beautiful breakthroughs. Next card you've got is when the grit became a pearl. So this, my beautiful Pisces, is letting you know, <coughs> sorry, this is letting you know that all the challenges that you have gone through, all the hardships that you have endured, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, that that has really turned you into something special. So now is the time to start looking away from the past, to stop focusing on the past and all the hurt and all the pain and everything, because yes, it is you know, it has been very, very challenging for you. But all of that has brought you to this current moment. And this current moment is perfect. And in this current moment lies your power, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. So all the things that you've gone through has all been in preparation to bring you to this moment. You know, in this moment where your power lies. All right. So you've gone through a lot. Yes, you have. Because with your energy as, as well, Pisces, your energy is all about, you know, transmuting that of the collective consciousness. And that is why you're so sensitive. You feel other people's feelings and emotions. And all the willows know your name. All of the creative forces in the universe knows who you are. All of life is on board with supporting your highest good, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. All right? Um, and this card is letting you know that there is nothing in this world that is impossible to you. Everything is possible for you now. Everything is possible for you now. Okay, They may not have been so possible before, they may not have felt all that positive before, or even possible before, but everything is possible for you now, and it's everything positive is possible for you now. All right, Go ahead in the comments, let me know what it is that your heart desires, what is your big dream, what is it that you wish, hope, and dream about. All right, If you haven't yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe, hit that all notification button, like the video, it helps me to grow, which I really, really appreciate, and I just... You know, just sending you plenty and plenty of love. Let's build on that first card, could it be a dragonfly, the star energy, which is amazing because this is all about the age of Aquarius, which is the age where, we, age where we're currently in. And this card once again confirms, you know, could it be a dragonfly, it confirms for you once again, my beautiful, beautiful Pisceans, that you have got all the treasure with you. But you know what sometimes happens in life is we become afraid of, what if I let the world see too much of who I am? What if they hurt me? You know, what if it? What if my heart is hurt? What if, you know, a lot of these things that happen that goes through our brain that happens. But this card is confirming to you, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, and confirming to you that, you know, you have spent a very, very long period of time, um, you know, coming to the space where you are. But it's a time now to step away from preparation and it's a time to step into action. You know, as I said in the beginning of the video, it's time for you to spread your wings to fly. There are beautiful, beautiful things that are coming about for you. All right. Beautiful, beautiful things that are coming about for you. And especially with that um, full moon in Capricorn that's happening on the 21st, um, it's, this is an energy of expression. 
all right um capricorn energy is a, it's a lot about what is around me and how can i utilize it to you know to to my benefit to other people's benefit to a higher cause to a broader cause so this is definitely time for you to start giving back by this all the beautiful knowledge that you know and that you are all right you are a messenger of air so this is encouraging you to to continue on your energy work or to start on your energy work my beautiful beautiful pisces you are ready to take a firmer stand now all right you are ready to take a firmer stand now you are ready to um i can almost say how do i put this it's it's not about it's not about capability. It's more about what energetically aligns with you at this particular point in time. And what aligns with you energetically at this particular point in time, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, is to go out there and to spread the word. You know, whatever you believe can support others, it's time for you to go ahead and do that. So, you know, again, you know, upping your game in your own spiritual offer or um, you know, starting something new instead of just dreaming that big dream which might have been annoying you for such a long time because it's like it's not happening now might be the time to actually pursue that dream all right, to actively pursue the dream. You are ready for that nine of air. You are ready to release all of that, my beautiful Pisces, which is holding you back. All of that which has been limiting you. You know, all the heaviness, all the generational clearing and the karma cleansing and all of those things that you have gone through because your energy is about... Um, you know, transmutation. It is the death part of the rebirth where Aries is the rebirth. So yours is the challenging part. Yours is the heavy part. And, you know, you are that natural empath, my beautiful Pisces. And all Pisceans are born naturally intuitive. In actual fact, Pisces is the most intuitive um, sort of, you know, zodiac energy that there is because you're just so naturally attuned to other people. All right, And the angels want to let you know, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, that it is time for you now to literally go ahead and spread your wings and prepare to fly. All right, It's like that song of Mariah Carey's, you know, spread your wings and prepare to fly. You would become a butterfly. Oh, spread your wings and fly, butterfly. You know, of course, I've got no rights to the song. I'm just singing it to you. So let's see, what are some of the challenges that you are facing? And then also in that same token, what are some of the cornerstones, the pillar stones, the strengths, you know, that you can put in place right now, Pisces, to actually help you to positively propel forward, you know, because that is really what the angels are letting you know at this particular point in time, that you are really ready to step into your magic, to step into your life. So if you've been, you know, looking around for magic, You've been looking around for something really amazing. You know, you've been hoping, wishing and praying, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, for something amazing. That something amazing is you. All right? Strength energy there, Leo energy. This is a healing energy. You have healed and you have healed a lot. All right? And now it's time for you to benefit from that healing. Okay? So maybe you have become so focused on... You know, I must heal, I must clear, I must this, I must that. But how about you just give yourself praise for where you are and you, you know, you sort of like just, just be where you are at the moment, all right? And also the four of ones, this is beautiful. This speaks about emotional balance. This speaks about um, a sense of peace, a sense of place that is returning to your life, my beautiful Pisces. And again, if it resonates, you know, place your hand on your heart and take a deep breath and say, yes. All right. This is if you have been having trouble in your career, in your marriage, within your own emotions, you know, anything like that. Um, maybe, you know, the mind felt a very challenge and things like that, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. This energy is letting you know that things are most certainly evening out for you in the most beautiful way. And you are ready to really, really brightly shine. All right. I think we should pull this beautiful angel a little bit forward. Oh, isn't she beautiful? All right, let's get you some deeper messages from your angels. What other guidance does your angels have for beautiful Pisces over here, please? For them to shine, for them to unleash their magic, for them to go to that next level. Beautiful angels, what is the message that you have for my beautiful, beautiful Pisces? Nine of Wands. 
Pisces, what are you holding on to? It's time to let the old wound go. So whatever the old wound is, whatever it is that is still, you know, um, sort of buckling you over, you want to start by healing that. You want to start by, by sussing that out of your life. All right. And let's say, for example, you're in a job that is really, really robbing you of your peace or in a relationship, you know, or in a friendship that is really, really, um, you know, messing with your peace. Then you might want to start with what is the situation reflecting back to me about me? What is it that I need to heal? And it's it's not always so easy to do that, but you are ready to do that now with that strength energy. You are ready for the emotional balance that it brings. So you are ready, um, you know, for, let's call it a difficult conversation, okay? You are ready for that difficult conversation, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, all right? Of, of standing up and saying, this is what I want, this is what I need, this is what I require, all right. Um, it's it's sort of like I, I, I can almost say that you are ready to say it now. You know, you are ready to say it now. What needs to be said? The angels want to let you know that you're not alone. Yes, there's doubt here. There's doubt. There's fear. There's uncertainty. There's a sense of being afraid of making a mistake. Um, it kind of feels like there's a healing action step here for your Pisces that has actually, in a sense, been overdue for quite a period of time. And now it's time for you to clear that out, all right? And you are ready to do that now. So you are ready to step into the life that you deserve. Some final messages from the angels for beautiful Pisces for 15 to 31 June, please. What is it that Pisces needs to know? What is it that you need to be aware of? Three of Pentacles. Pisces, it's time for new. It's time for new. It's time for a new path. It's time for a new way of doing things. The, the old may seem kind of inviting, or let's rather say it maybe looks logically, you know, like sort of like sense on paper, but you are ready for something new. You are ready for something more. And the angels are encouraging you to pursue your heart's desires because they will be with you. You know, so whether it is that you are concerned about your finances or your your career or your health or your relationships, you know, your kids, your, your other loved ones, friends, whatever it may be, the angels want to let you know that if you pursue the part, if you can, if you can say yes to the call of your heart right now, then you are about to experience beauty amazing blessings, breakthroughs, synchronicities that surpasses even your wildest imagination by far and in the most beautiful ways. All right. So that's what I have for you, my beautiful Pisces. I hope that it helps. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are interested in my online coaching options, have a look in the description down below. Until next time, I look forward to connecting with you.